So what I'm going to tell you is going to sound shocking and it may even startle you a little bit. And that's how to manifest the precise amount of money that you want into your life. So I am not going to ask you to just take my word for it. I'm going to share with you exactly a testimonial that someone just sent over to us. So if you want to attract more money into your life, right? And some people say, well, I don't want to learn any about it. I don't want to talk about that. Tell me about spiritual stuff. Here's why it's important, right? Right now we have a Federal Reserve printing infinite money. There's it's instability in fiat currencies. And we've had all types of uh, raises and in health insurance and in healthcare. Money is a medium that's going to be important for you to not only ensure your own freedoms, but to help ensure your friends, your family, and to just truly use it as a medium to have the life that you want. So in this video, let me share with you how to have some shocking results with manifesting money into your life. So if you're on board with that, make sure you hit the like button on this side or on this side, and let's dive right into the video. So let me start by reading this message that we received. I started watching Jake's short videos every day. I went into our local casino, sat down and said, I am a money magnet. Money comes to me in avalanches of abundance quickly and easily. I put my $20 into the nickel slot machine and hit the grand jackpot on that slot for $95,000. <laughs> I feel his short videos changed my subconscious mind to abundance. Thank you, Jake. It changed my life. So I told you it was going to be shocking. Lady puts in 20 bucks, gets 95 grand. So let's move away from whether it's a slot machine or whatever, whatever the how is, whatever the medium is. And let's look at the reality of the situation. If you can reprogram your subconscious mind, beginning in your consciousness, not your outside life, but if you can shift your own perception to one of abundance, you will change your outer life and you will have crazy synchronicities like that. The reason is it all comes down to science, right? This sounds very new agey and woo woo -y, but it's not at all. We're talking about real actual science that we know. It's called the observer effect. And the observer effect was ultimately, we found out that everything in the universe, so this pillow and my body and that wall behind me and all that stuff, all of it, every single piece of it is made up of what we thought were atoms, but then we found out they're made up of subatomic particles, even smaller than an atom. Subatomic, instead of atomic, instead of an atom, it's sub, it's sub an atom, it's smaller. Well, what we found out is that those subatomic particles, they sometimes exist and they sometimes don't exist. They're particles, meaning if you have a $100 bill in front of you, or in this instance, a $95,000 in front of you, it's particles, right? It's observable in this reality. Well, it could also be a wave. A wave means it's energy vibrating at a frequency beyond visible light, so you can't see it. Does that make sense? It's just super simple. Particle means it's here in the material world, and a wave means that it is vibrating at a frequency beyond visible light, therefore we can't perceive it, even with really powerful microscopes and technology. So the observer effect, they found out that a subatomic particle that is the building block of everything, my body, your bank account, your car, a table, everything, the life you want, sometimes the subatomic particles would exist and sometimes they didn't exist. They found out that what determined what manifested itself was consciousness, was the observer viewing it, was the consciousness of the observer, of the scientist observing it. So they called it the observer effect because they said, well, all of the subatomic reality of existence, which makes up everything, is actually determined by consciousness and by the person observing it. Notice how this woman said that she changed her subconscious. She repatterned herself for abundance. So because her perception creates her reality and rearranges the subatomic particles of her life 
into money or lack thereof, she programmed it for abundance. So it started to show up in her life. Meanwhile, you have other people that watch these videos and they say, so stupid, so stupid, doesn't work like that. And they probably don't have any money. Not because they're not smart enough or not good enough or they don't deserve it. It's because your consciousness, your subtle perception of reality, the assumptions and agreements you have about your life, your bank account and what's possible is ultimately what determines the flow of energy that you get back into your life. So my favorite affirmation has always been large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. And that's that saying that the woman was using was from my free success hypnosis, which if you want to use it, it's right there down below pinned to the comments. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. You'll see it pinned to the comments. If you scroll down to the first comment. Now, the reason that this is so incredibly important and powerful is because large sums of money can come to you quickly and easily because this whole reality is simply the result of perception. So comment down below, large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. Comment that down below, large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. So then the next logical question to ask yourself is, what are the assumptions you have about yourself and money? That's step number one. What are the assumptions that you have about yourself and money? And when you truly uncover them, that's the first step to see how you've habitually projected your consciousness. Because here's the thing, you might say, well, I've tried all this and it doesn't work. Yeah, but your conscious mind is only responsible for 5% of your life. So 95% of your life, of your consciousness and how you project your consciousness, it's subconscious. That means it's below conscious, it's habitual, it's been programmed into you. Now, you can reprogram it, and that's why I always talk about my free success hypnosis, because it's a tool to reprogram it. But here's the thing, once you identify how you've been programmed, then you can free yourself of it. For me, I thought I was too young, I was 19 years old when I dropped out of college and wrote my first book, so I thought I was too young to be successful. I thought I wasn't a good writer, I thought that I wasn't intelligent enough. I was prescribed ADD and ADHD pills in high school and I thought I had attention problems. And so I had this whole laundry list. I thought money was evil. I had this whole laundry list of assumptions I had about reality. And after a few years of working really hard, selling my books out of my trunk of my car, or farmer's markets, all types of stuff, it just slung my books out of the trunk of my car. I wasn't getting I was still stressed about money all the time because I wasn't getting any financial stability. And even when I had it, I just spent it all. And I finally realized, huh, even though I now consciously want some financial success, I still don't have it and I'm working really hard. So what's the problem here? What's the beef, dog? And the beef was that I had those unconscious assumptions about reality that were projecting my consciousness. And once I worked on reprogramming him, that was when I officially made my success hypnosis. Uh, because I realized I had to get down to the core of things to actually shift and change it. Now, the next step is choosing what you want in your subconscious. How do you want it reprogrammed? And I said that I large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. I'm a world renowned uh, uh, influential uh, thought leader, online personality, author, inspiring millions of people worldwide. I dri I said this to myself. I, I, I'm not making this up flow of thought right now. I wrote this down every day, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. I listened to it. I told myself that I was it. I started visualizing it. And I started slowly but surely tilling the soil kind of like if you buy a property but the soil's all screwed up like let's say monsanto did all these gmos on your soil and your soil's all ruined what do you need to do to plant you have to retill it right you have to refertilize it you have to clean the soil up it's all been destroyed and growing up in this society that's basically what's happened to our subconscious mind we've been hypnotized and programmed for limitations and we've been programmed to believe that ideas like this are stupid and silly so when somebody says, hey, the observer effect, it's a new age, new age. Science is proving it, dude. It's not like money is the one thing that's not a part of this universal law. <laughs> it's just as much a part of the universal law as anything else. This chair, this art piece, that tree, 
my face this um, ring and the $95,000 that the lady manifested from her casino thing, it's all made up of subatomic particles. And we know that a subatomic particle could be a, pro a particle or a wave. It could exist or not exist, dependent on the consciousness observing it. So then the question is, in your inner world, are you living in abundance or are you living in poverty? In your inner world, do you have wealth or are you broke and you have a bunch of reasons why you're broke and I just don't understand and I'm just filling your head with a bunch of BS and you don't and Jake doesn't get it. What world do you live in? Do you live in a world where you carry around your past with you and you say, yeah, but I already tried all this. Do you live in a world where you look to the outside world to decide what's possible? Because all of these things are ultimately how we are manifesting the prosperity into our life. So in conclusion, I invite you to use my free success hypnosis every day for a couple minutes to start rearranging and reprogramming your subconscious. It's right there down below, pinned to the comments, jakeshypnosis.com. The next thing that I invite you to ask yourself is, what are the assumptions I have about my financial reality? I told you what some of mine were. I thought I was too young, blah, blah, blah. These were all rational things, right? But Albert Einstein said logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. Logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. What are the logical assumptions you have about reality that are collapsing the infinite energy of the universe? They're pulling these things from this from the quantum field and collapsing this limited financial reality over and over. What are those beliefs you hold about yourself and about money? They are just beliefs that have been hypnotized into you for a very long period of time. And when you're brave enough to identify them, that's the first step to be free from them. Now, the third part is, as I said, what new beliefs and programs do you want to put into it? So the question might be, what do you really want? What are your financial goals? Do you even have any financial goals written down? Or have you been so afraid that you won't achieve them that you've never written them down? Have you written clear financial goals down? What is the amount of money you want to make in a month or in a year? How do you want to live your life? What's your ideal lifestyle? Have you done that? Or do you believe that this is foolhardy, ridiculous pipe dream stuff so you don't even do it? Because your belief in that way is convincing whatever subconscious belief you hold, your life will constantly prove it to you. And then you go, see, I told you none of this works. It's never going to work if your subconscious belief is that because we live in a world of the observer effect where your consciousness creates your own reality, which leads me to step number four. If you want to change your financial life, you must suspend your disbelief. What do I mean by that? When you go to a movie you know that it's just a movie. When Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie come up on the screen, you don't go, such such BS, so fake. Oh, that's just Brad Pitt right there. This is so fake. This is so fake. No. You suspend your disbelief. When you suspend your disbelief, it allows your consciousness and all of your senses and your nervous system to enter the story of the, of the motion picture that's projecting onto the screen. You know it's not real, you know it's just a movie, but it doesn't matter, you feel as if it's real and you get lost in this world. You have to be able to do that with the new financial reality you desire. You have to suspend your disbelief about your past. You have to suspend your disbelief about what's presently in your mobile banking. Well, we have $11 in it. Well, I don't have enough money. You have to suspend your disbelief. You have to suspend your disbelief about everything anybody tells you. And you have to suspend your disbelief about the thoughts that you have, like I told you. I had to suspend my disbelief about things. I was too young to be successful. That was number one. Number two was I didn't think I could be successful because I thought you had to be really smart to be financially successful. And I thought that I had ADD and ADHD and I failed junior class in high school and I was never, I never did good on my ACTs or SATs. I was just a C student. So they were rational things, but I had to suspend my disbelief of these things in order to uh, make way for something new to come into my life. Because as long as I held on to those old beliefs, I would keep using the observer effect and I would keep using quantum physics to continually manifest lack and limitation and frustration in my life. Even if I didn't want it anymore, because consciously I could want something, but subconsciously I could be programmed for something else. So comment down below, suspend my disbelief. 
Comment down below, suspend my disbelief. Comment that down below, suspend my disbelief. And ask yourself for step number five now. What's the best that could happen? Honestly, what's the best that could happen? You know, I see the comments on these videos. So silly, so stupid. It doesn't work like that. Giant scam. Da, da, da. What's the best that could happen? I mean, you already know what you're getting if, if you're just a naysayer. You already know. You're not going to get anything different. You're going to get the same reality you get all the time. We already know that, right? So what's the best that could happen? What's the best that could happen if you say, you know what? I'm not sure whether I think this is really real, but I'm going to try it. What happens if you have an open mind and you're attached to nothing and you use my success hypnosis, you reprogram your mind, you watch your thoughts, you write your goals down clearly on a piece of paper, you work for them every day and you don't allow the outside world to control your thoughts. You continue to dwell on prosperity. What's the best that could happen? So in conclusion, I invite you to think about that question long and deep. What's the best that could happen? Really think about it. Ask your friends, what's the best that could happen? Pull out a journal and write at the top of it, what's the best that could happen? And free write, what's the best that could happen? Close your eyes and visualize, what's the best that could happen in your life? How could your life change? What would it be like if you started to achieve at the level you always wanted to, but you weren't sure if you could do it? What would happen? So use my free success hypnosis, close your eyes, dwell in your imagination and ask yourself this question, What's the best that could happen? Remember, Albert Einstein said that logic will take you from A to B, but imagination can take you anywhere. This includes your financial reality. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share it with a friend or family member and be sure to watch it again back through. It's very important that you watch things that speak to you more than once to make sure that they really grasp and sink into the mind. So make sure you hit the like button on this side or this side to send this out into the YouTube universe so more people see it right there or right there. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video, if it speaks to you, if it inspires you. I'd love to know what you think. So be sure to check out jakeshypnosis.com right there down below, pinned to the comments. And remember, you're probably a lot more capable than you could ever imagine. And the thing that's going to determine your life is, well, is whether you are brave enough to give it a try. Remember. What's the best that could happen?